Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Janet, the Journal Keeper. This is video number seven. Welcome back if you've been before and if you haven't, I'd be grateful if you would subscribe and press the little alarm bell so you are notified when I upload videos. I showcase my work on this channel and today I've got a couple of different items, not journals, uh, this is a pouch, it does have a journal in it to be fair, which is obviously as you see Edith Holden and an expandable file. So we might start with the Edith Holden one first. The size of the pouch is 10, 11, yeah, 11 inches by about eight and a half and uh, this is made from a manila folder this particular color manila folders we don't tend to get in England you can get them by the box on Amazon um, most recently they've had an offer where you don't have to pay the um, shipping so it's actually a very good deal because I think you get a hundred if you don't want to invest in that, um, Tanya at Tatty Treasures um, on Etsy sells them in smaller amounts. And you might see, uh, if you're looking for them in, in England, you might see them where they say Manila, but they never are. They're actually more of a buff colour. So this is an American uh, Manila folder. Uh, it's sewn down the sides. And we have lace along the bottom, sewn down here as you see it, you can see it more clearly there. And the front is collaged with music paper. And this is a material, it is a vintage doily piece. And then the top layer is from Edith Holden Country Diary. And then on the back, we have a similar thing. We have, um, I think, dictionary paper there with Edith Holden, mainly Sabring items. A little envelope here with some daisies in it. And inside, we have a journal, which is uh, just under eight inches by five and three quarters. This is just a plain journal for writing in. It has tea dyed pages and the front is collaged with some lace trim and so is the back. Make a really good gift for someone who likes Edith Holden or just likes flowers and uh, crafts. And next we have the expandable file folder. This is overall size is just over eight and a half by six and a half. It is made out of card. This is, um, I've strengthened this here and I can't remember the GSM of this card but this is the really thick it's over 200 so the outside there's a white card there and it's got um, it's covered in a layer of sort of like a calico and then on top there's a layer of um, an autumn themed material which is wrapped around closure you've got a like a policy document closure and inside you've got four sections we can see those and um, each one has a different autumn themed papers in it they have been sewn on 
and here at the side the piece that comes in I have um, sewn those so they are you know well attached they've been glued and sewn actually now these are an A5 size I specifically made these to A5 size so for those that aren't, don't do A5 it's um, about just under six and a half inches by about six inches deep so you could use this for really saving anything ephemera I think that's what I thought about when I was making it could you could uh, keep ephemera in it or just anything really right this is just a short video today these items will are for sale on my shop which is on Etsy which is MSL sales and I will leave a link down below thank you very much for watching and I'll be uploading another video next week so I hope you'll come back please stay well and safe and thank you again goodbye for now